everyone welcome back to my channel today's video will be all about my chanel card holders and i want to do a comparison on the third card holders i do have because when i was making my last video i realized that i do have three card holders but they are all different leathers and styles so i thought this would be just a great video to kind of share with you guys on how these leathers and different materials hold up to one another and what might best fit your lifestyle depending on the wear that each of them does have so with that let's get started the first card holder i will be reviewing is the very first card holder i've ever purchased and it is the chanel denim card holder in a pearl iridescent caviar leather at the top and then it has the light blue denim with yellow and red to light pink stripes going vertically this is part of the 18s collection i was unsure about where i purchased or what collection i purchased from originally but i finally was not being lazy and actually looked up the little tag that it came with and it is from the 18s collection i did purchase this in may so i knew it wasn't too old but i just wasn't sure which collection i bought it from and it is in silver hardware you can see it has the two card holder slots and then one at the front and then it also has the middle slot that is kind of like the traditional o card holder for chanel some card holders have two slots and then two in the back but this one just has the one and then the two in the back definitely don't baby my card holders but i'm not too careless with them either so i definitely do try to be conscious about where i'm stuffing on my card holders and how i'm kind of just like taking care of them overall but one thing i would like to mention kind of with all card holders specifically chanel but just in general card holders is that you can't overstuff them too much and what i mean is that you can't have too many cards kind of going into each slot because then you will stretch out the leather and if you stretch out the leather since the leather stretched out it's not going to be able to mold back to what its original form thus if you don't have that many cards in that slot anymore it is and can have the cards actually fall out so the only way to kind of avoid that would be to always have your like card holder stuff to basically how much you stretch it out to begin with I try to make a conscious effort to not overstuff my card holders. I usually put like one or two card, hold card holders in this slot and then also one to two in the back slots. And I don't really put too much in here, some cash sometimes, but I really try not to kind of stretch out my card holders because I want them to maintain their structure and I just don't want to have to worry about my card holders ever falling out. In terms of this card holder, one thing i would mention is that since this is denim anything that rubs against it you know accidentally spills on it anything basically that it comes in contact with can and will get put on the card holder that means if you have maybe like a darker leather if you accidentally spill water or juice or anything like a pen goes by it, a marker will show up on this case and the one a uh, difficult part of it being denim is that it's not just like leather that you can have like a leather cleaner or a leather moisturizer or have like you know your leather tricks and how you clean your leather bags but with denim you would have to kind of like scrub it almost maybe with like some uh, lukewarm water and some soap and kind of like use a brush or something very tiny to kind of brush the wear out of it but that can also just ruin the fabric that it's on so it can the fabric can actually start Pilling, which basically means the top layer of the fabric will actually start kind of like unwinding and that happens a lot with sweaters and maybe like jeans anything with kind of like a sewn in material the fabric can actually start pilling on that material and I think that kind of happens with a lot of Chanel card holders I haven't purchased any other card holders to know kind of their wear but on my Chanel card holders I always see like pilling on the side of the card holder i don't know if you can kind of see with light but it just like ever so slightly it just like pills on the side which basically means the fabric's kind of like untwining and you can kind of clear that with they have they sell like items to help with uh the fabric pilling but that is something to be aware of, especially with a fabric like this also because the top part is a light pearl iridescent caviar leather i do see the sides of the card holder actually getting like a more grayish blackish tint on the sides and it's kind of getting warmed down on the side i don't know if you can kind of see it in the camera 
but it is kind of getting worn down a little bit. And I've noticed that with all my card holders, more so on the edges of this, but I feel like because these are such sharp edges all around the card holder, these are the ones, these are gonna be the pinpoints the most wear. And I think that's just kind of like normal wear and tear on it. You kind of can't really help it because I don't feel like I stuff it with other stuff too much. I usually have it on the side pocket of my bags and I still do see this kind of like wear coming off the sides. I definitely recommend if you are gonna purchase a lighter card holder to kind of be more conscious about where you're putting the card holder and what it's coming in contact with because since it is so light, it definitely is more prone to color transfer and overall wear of the card holder. My next card holder I actually purchased, I wanna say like two months ago, and this is the 19C Tiffany Blue card holder. And I don't know if you can already see, it has like the little pilling on the sides from the sewn in stitching. I don't know if you can see, but this one is definitely a lot more noticeable, especially with the light shining on it, definitely is more noticeable. But this is also a very light uh, leather. And I don't see any really much wear besides on the corners. So on the corner sides, it does have that more darkening of the leather. And I think that's just kind of the normal wear. I've seen that on all my card holders thus far. For anyone that's worried about like a lighter leather, possibly having more color transfer, I haven't seen any color transfer on this uh, material. On my uh, denim one with the white iridescent carrier, I definitely think that would be a lot more prone to color transfer if that was kind of like the entire card holder. But this uh, leather is really durable. You can feel it. it's kind of stiff. It has the puffs on it, but the leather itself is really durable and you can feel that. I feel like if something got on this that I could easily kind of like wipe it away. I think it just, I don't know if it's just kind of the way this is made, but I think, feel like this part's a little more sensitive than the bottom part because it definitely feels a little more tougher on the leather and more puffier. So I just feel like if something were to get on it, it'd be a lot easier than maybe up here, where it's a little more, you know, flatter and just like a little more softer on the leather. This comes in light gold hardware. And again, it has the same style. So the two pockets, one pocket in the front and one pocket in the middle. I used this as soon as I got it up until I got my new card holder, which I'll be showing in just a second. But the first card holder I purchased was $400. This card holder was $425. Chanel raised their prices like they always do. <laughs> so this one was $25 more, but I am a fan of this color. It is gorgeous even i love all my card holders to be honest i love how unique they are and different i love the denim especially because i feel like most people don't have denim card holders and i think that just kind of really makes it stand out and that's something i personally look for when buying items such as these my last card holder and this card holder if you've been watching my videos i actually purchased pre-loved and it is the chanel also from the 18s because i didn't realize that my first card holder was also from 18s i have two card holders of the same collection and this one is in the so black so it has the black uh signature c hardware and it is in crumpled calfskin with pvc lining so basically it's like a plastic lining but if you actually feel the card holder itself it has these little like where the leather kind of crumples you can actually feel it on the plastic and i think that is amazing kind of just like look and feel to the wallet while also making it really unique and one of the reasons why i love how this kind of has that plastic lining is that i feel like this card holder especially will have really great wear because it is kind of coated in plastic so anything that comes on it can easily be wiped away and just you don't have to really pay too much attention to what is coming in contact against this card holder unless it's something sharp that could obviously impact the plastic but that's like with any card holder i haven't seen too much wear on the edges on this one specifically because i feel like the plastic just makes it a little more durable to kind of the corner edges wearing but this is something i adore it has these like silver metallic undertones i didn't want the standard black card holder at least not yet in my collection when this came available to purchase, I knew I definitely wanted this one because it is extremely unique. It has that, you know, crumbled casting uh, leather, 
PVC lining and it is part of the So Black collection and I just think it makes it stand out just from like a normal black card holder because it has those silver undertones. So it really just is an extremely unique piece and I've been using it all the time since I purchased it and I'm just in love with it. And I also paid $4.20 for this pre-loved and it came with the receipt, the box, authenticity card, kind of even the original packaging. So this little white uh, cover that comes over the box and it was extremely well packaged. I thought I bought it from an actual boutique, but no, it was pre-loved. Card holder, I would definitely recommend to basically anyone because of it being lined with plastic. You don't have to really worry about color transfer. It is in a darker shade, obviously it's black. So you're not gonna really see any, you know, color transfer or wear, but you wouldn't see that to begin with because it's covered in this plastic material. Overall, I love all my card holders, but I think if you were looking for your first Chanel card holder or just your first card holder in general, I would definitely recommend going with the PVC coated card holder just because this is the one that you can be most carefree on and not worry about too much about color transfer, the leather, or anything like that because the leather itself is actually coated with plastic. If you are not really into, you know, your card holder being plastic or you want more of a traditional leather piece, I definitely recommend going with the caviar leather. You can do a light color. I've had this color and I, like I said, I don't 100% baby my products, but I'm not too careless either. And this has held up extremely well, especially with the color transfer. I haven't seen anything on it besides just the corner edges and that's just normal with any card holder you use. And lastly, this is, you know, I just think this is a really unique piece. So if you're Someone that really wants something unique, definitely look into like the denim card holders, but also even the PVC uh, card holders because this has kind of like that metallic undertones. I think these two are really unique pieces because of the materials and the style of the card holder itself. But if you want to go more of a classic style, this is still unique because it's color and all like Chanel colors. They might come out with a blue, but it's always a different shade of blue. They might come out with a red, but it's always a different shade of red. So you're not really getting the same color when you're getting, you know, from any collection. So any piece you actually get from Chanel will kind of be unique in its own way. If you're looking for something unique based on materials and kind of the overall look, I definitely look into card holders such as these. Okay, guys, so that's really it for this video. I hope that was really informative and give you some insight into the different materials and style card holder that Chanel carry. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, please subscribe down below. I would love for you to, you know, join my little subscriber family. And I do post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So definitely don't miss those. And I actually will be coming up with a series later on. I think probably not the next video but maybe the video after talking about like my pre-love experience and how to buy pre-love misconceptions about buying pre-love and all that really i think useful information for anyone that is interested in purchasing items pre-loved especially in the luxury market so with that i'll see you guys in my next video and have a great you know rest of your day bye